Hey folks, listen, dry turkey is a bummer. So why don't you take control of the turkey this year? We're gonna show you how to turn this into this using a graniteware covered roaster. Today, we're gonna to show you how to make a deliciously moist and golden brown turkey without all the hassles of brining, basting, oven bags, or those flimsy foil roasting pans. In fact, one of these covered roasters makes it so easy, even this guy can do it. Now, Graniteware does make a variety of different sizes of roasting pans for different sizes of roasts or poultry, and they are made in the USA. But today, we're gonna to use this 18-inch covered oval roasting pan to roast a 15-pound turkey. The porcelain surface of these pans is all natural and chemical-free. The dark surface efficiently absorbs heat from the oven, allowing the steel core to distribute it throughout the pan. That means your turkey is going to cook more evenly and faster than in an uncovered pan or a glass pan. It is also safe to use metal utensils in these pans, and it's dishwasher safe. So you may be asking, without the brining and the basting and all that, how do we keep our turkey from drying out? Well, the answer is in the dimpled lid of these covered roasters. See, it traps moisture inside the roaster from in and around your turkey. As that moisture rises, it collects on the dimples of the lid and then drips back down all around the turkey. That's what helps keep your bird moist all throughout the cooking. This design is what ensures that the bird does stay moist by basting it in its own juices. These pans are great for cooking chicken, turkey, roasts, vegetables, but today, we're gonna to show you how to turn these ingredients into a full turkey meal. Now, we're not gonna go through the recipe step by step, but we will have a link to the recipes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started. Now, if you're using a frozen turkey, be sure that you follow the instructions on the turkey or talk to your farmer about how best to thaw it. It often takes a couple of days to properly thaw a large turkey. Since our turkey is already thawed, we're gonna take it out of the refrigerator and just let it sit on the counter for about an hour to warm up a little while we prepare all the rest of our ingredients. First, we're gonna prepare our cornbread stuffing, which is totally optional. And then we're just gonna rough chop some vegetables and place these in the bottom of the roaster. That is gonna allow the turkey to sit up off the bottom of the pan and also allow all the vegetables to absorb all that flavor from the turkey as it cooks. Now you can use a rack to roast your turkey on and Graniteware does make a full line of roasting racks to match these pans, so that's always an option. But it's certainly not necessary, so we're going to forego it this time. So next we're gonna dress and season our turkey. That's not the kind of dressing I was talking about. You'll often need to remove the neck and the giblets from the turkey and just set those aside. And then you'll want to loosely pack the turkey with the stuffing if you're using a stuffing. We're using our sour cream cornbread stuffing to fill and flavor the cavity. But you can also just stuff it with apples or lemons or just some sprigs of herbs to provide some flavor as the turkey cooks. Now we're going to place our turkey in the roaster on top of our chopped veggies. Now we also chose to melt some butter with freshly chopped herbs. We're going to brush that on the turkey just before putting it in the oven. And then, the important part, we're just going to cover the turkey with the lid, making sure to leave just a little bit of space between the top of the turkey and the lid to prevent burning. And now we're ready to get the bird in the oven. We preheated our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we made sure to remove the top rack from the oven to make sure that the turkey fits. So we'll slide it in and just leave it alone until just about 15 to 30 minutes until we think the turkey's done. And that timing might vary depending on your recipe and the size of your turkey. So now it's time to remove from the oven and take the lid off the roaster to ensure that we get a nice even brown and beautifully crisp skin. Just be sure to tilt the lid away from you when you remove it. Now our 15 pound turkey just took about two hours in the covered pan before we remove the lid. Our turkey is done. Oh, look at that. The skin is nice and crispy, and it looks and smells delicious. So now we just need to let it rest for about 20 minutes to let the temperatures kind of even out and allow it to cool enough to handle. And then we carve it up. And that, my friends, is how to roast a turkey using a covered graniteware roasting pan. And then of course, the most important part, carve it up and enjoy it with family or friends or by yourself if you like, but that's a lot of turkey. That's it for now, folks. Be sure to watch for additional videos on how to use great graniteware products, and then be sure to check out the Mason Jar Suite for more tips, tricks, and techniques. And until then, happy roasting.